What is going on with all you Atlanta fans? What's going on? How y'all doing? What's up, all you dirty birds? Today we got a video on Isaiah Wynn. It was a request from Jay Peach. Uh, so salute to you. Appreciate the request. Uh, Isaiah Wynn has been linked to us a couple of times. Uh, I think Ledbetter just did one of his, and he had uh, Isaiah Wynn going to us. Now, this man, if you didn't already know, this man is one of the our very own Georgia Bulldogs. I think he's from Florida. Uh, we'll get into the overview and all that a little bit later. But he did go to Georgia. He played. He started off as guard, and he went to tackle. So he can play a little bit of everything. He can go from guard to tackle, whatever we need. And we all know the Falcons' offensive line has been, hurt, been getting hurt the, the past year. So that's going to be real help. From you really throwing picks to Kentucky? I don't remember that pick. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Side note: Bulldogs better win the championship next year. That's all I got to say. I don't care how many freshmen we gotta play. Y'all better win. Uh, but yeah, this man Win can play. Look at him. Look at him driving them out there. Look at him. Not even, don't even stand a chance. He doesn't even stand a chance. Look at him. Let's see what he do here. Look at look at him help get the pick. That wasn't his fault. He did his job. But uh, Isaiah Wynn, like I said, he could play both sides. He could play both positions, guard or tackle. Uh, I'm curious to see if he can go on the right side. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him on the right side, but I'm sure he could. So we all know the Falcons linemen always been getting hurt. We got Fushko in coming through, and we got Levitre. And Levi, I think this is Levitre's last year on his contract. So who knows? He might be replacing one of these guys sooner or later on the offensive line. In the meantime, I think he might be a backup, you know, for the first year if we do draft him. You know, he could he could possibly replace Jake Matthews. We don't know. We don't know the lot the direction the Falcons is going right now. So Isaiah Wynn would be a good look on the team. I wouldn't be mad at that pick either. A lot of people want, you know, the sexy pick out of our receiver or Got him pushing him out. Good job. It was a little hole there, but it's all good. As long as the ref don't see it, it's cool. Um, a lot of people want the sexy pick on you know, like a raw receiver or a skilled position. But little do they know, the trenches is real important too. We got to keep Matt Ryan healthy. You know what I'm saying? Matt, I don't think Matt Ryan has ever gotten hurt. Knock on wood. We're going to keep it that way. We don't want him hurt. But we got to protect him at all times. You know, at times it's sick. I, read, I looked at plenty of uh, pro football focus. They had our line, like, top 10 best in the league. And, you know, at times it seemed like our lineman was getting pushed back 5, 10 yards into the backfield. It, it seemed worse than what it was sometimes. So it won't hurt to add, you know, a little bit more ammunition, a little more firepower to this to this arsenal that we do have online. So I wouldn't mind seeing him on the team. But enough of all the talking from me, my little side notes. We're going to get into the overview, the uh, strengths, weaknesses. He didn't do the combine because he had a, a torn labrum. So he didn't do any of the workouts, any of that stuff. All he did was a senior bowl, and he balled out in the senior bowl. So that kind of helped him put his draft stock up. So let's see let's see what we got. Let's let's read up on him, and we're going to learn about him. We're going to le learn a little bit more about him throughout the video. All right, so we're going to start off with the player bio here. Win short. Stout, powerful build and mobility make his NFL future at guard, but his versatility has helped him meet the team's need at left tackle. He was a second team All American and first team All SEC selection in 2017, starting all 15 games on the outside to lead the way for the team's excellent running backs and protect freshman quarterback Jake Fromm. Shout out to my guy, Fromm guy. What's up, Jake? Salute to you. Wynn was a four-star recruit and top 10 guard prospect nationally out of Lakewood High School in St. Petersburg, Florida, before joining the Bulldogs. He played in 11 games as a true freshman, starting once as a second tight end. Wynn began his sophomore year at the left guard spot, starting eight games there before moving over one spot to his left for the remaining five games. The transfer of Tyler Catalina, from Western Carolina to Georgia, forced Wynn to slide back to the left guard spot in 2016, where he started 12 times, missing one game due to injury. All right, so pretty much this man is a healthy guy. He never gets hurt. 
he doesn't have what I like to call brittle bones. You know what I'm saying? He's he's strong. He's been drinking his milk all his life. So shout out to him. He's 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 a solid starter. And we all know we need a healthy starter on our Falcons. And it seems like somebody's going out with a concussion or a leg injury. Always. So with him on the line, I'm sure he's gonna be nice and healthy and be consistent. That's what we need. Consistency. So let's go down to overview. Win is talented. Technically sound block winner with a demeanor that offensive line coaches will love. His athleticism allows for quick advantages as a run blocker while his hand strength and footwork helps him sustain those advantages into opening running lanes. His plus pass protection will be appealing to teams looking for help in that area and he is capable of sliding out the tackle in an emergency. He appears to have the technique and play traits to overcome any concerns about size and could become an early starter. Oh yeah, that's what we that's what we like to hear. Early let's go down to strengths. Plays with fluidity of movement and desired knee bend throughout rep. Initial quickness above average. Gets into blocks with tight footwork and runs feet through contact. Stays connected to his block and rarely falls off. Looks to finish. Effective as move blocker and base blocker. Takes good angles up to linebacker as backside blocker and has technique and athleticism to reach and secure blocks others may struggle with. Offers tackle level pass technique if bumped inside. Has body control and balance of feet to handle counter rush moves. Extremely aware against twists and quicks to respond. Plays with disciplined hand usage, keeping them inside opponent's frame in both run and pass. Hands are very strong, flashes necessary anchor. Has starting experience at both guard and tackle. So, pretty good, pretty darn good strengths if I do say so myself. Uh, he's really good with his hands, his pop is good. Uh, he dips his hips whenever it's necessary in order to you know get that little extra strength against rushers. So, and if he if a, if he latches on to you as a blocker, you ain't getting nowhere. Basically, he once you're on him, y'all staying on him. He does he rarely gives up something where they you know he rarely gives up any sacks to where if if yeah if y'all if he gets that first hand on you, you're done. Basically, just give up. Let's go down to weaknesses here. Little lean in the lower with high cut frame. Built more like a tackle than a guard, but it's packed into a 6'2 frame. Will have to prove he can withstand NFL power. Could benefit from, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Could benefit from getting better arm extension into initial punch as interior blocker in the NFL. May lack necessary pop in his hips to displace one gappers who are clogging running lanes. Will lose patience and chase on occasion rather than standing his ground and making defenders come to him. If that D tackle is strong enough, if any of them D tackles are strong enough, sometimes it's gonna it's gonna be a little much for Wynn to kind of get them out the running lane. So he might need to bulk up, which that's that's pretty easy to do with the NFL, I feel like. That's all they do in the offseason. So he will definitely get his strength up to be able to push those big old D tackles, no tackles out the way. Out the running lanes for our for our backs, Freeman and and Tico. So I'm not really worried about that too much. Uh, the one that says we'll lose patience and chase on occasion rather than standing good ground and making defenders come to him. That's nothing to worry about either. That's that's one of those you can you can teach. All the like I keep saying all these stuff, all these weaknesses that keep popping up. These are all coachable, teachable things. So. I really don't see nothing too bad about this. It's, it's it's cool. It's cool. At the end of the day, how would I feel about Wynn coming to the team? I wouldn't mind it. Uh, he's he's a big guy. Great blocker, I feel like. I've seen this man play plenty of times watching Georgia. And whenever Chubb or Sony Michelle run his way, you already know what time it is. It's a big play with a big hole so they can run through. So, I would love to see one on this team. Like I said, I think Fusco's on a one-year deal, and Levitri got one more year left with us, so he might be taking one of their spots. Or if, if one of these guys get hurt on the offensive line, like Matthews or Schweister or somebody or Garland, whoever the starter at the time, if one of them get hurt, plug in win. He's a plug-and-play guy. He Just put him, put him wherever. He will do the work. Like they said, he is a technician. He uses his technique to win these battles. And I love it. 
Love it. So, y'all let me know how y'all feel about Isaiah Wynn on our team. How would you feel about getting him in the first round? What if he slips to the second? I'd be happy with him in the second. But if he's there in the first round, how? Oh, he's on the ground. He's hurt. This is the one of the few times he got hurt. You know what I'm saying? He never gets hurt. But how would y'all feel about picking him up in the first round? Let me know. Let me know. And if you got any other players you want me to react to and, and bring awareness to us dirty birds, y'all let me know as well. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Stay tuned for more. We got about, what, 12 more days till the draft? I can't wait, man. I can't wait. We're going to pick up our future players. Should be fun. So, y'all let me know how y'all feel about Isaiah Wynn. Uh, yeah. We gone. Come when I leave. I need to hit it for the cam one time on Spike Lee. I got the D like the Panthers. Yo, man, he lost it. He Romo. He cannot follow my steps, no. Kobe stroke on you, that's old ho. I got the stroke like I'm stepped though. I'm spitting sick, I got strep throw. Leo my blood like we sense, oh. Why we just waiting in the game?